Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Well, I'm starting off this morning with um, an update on this election that is going on in Detroit right now. It's kind of interesting uh, what we are witnessing in this country. There is something very strange about 2020. Everyone's been saying it for a long time that 2020 is just one of those years that has taken many by storm, taken many by storm. But uh, we're no longer surprised about the events of 2020, especially with this election. But um, anyway, I want to insert this video here of these people walking into this lobby chanting. Um, these are Michigan poll watchers and they're saying stop the count at Detroit's TCF Center. It's interesting to see all of this because um, if they were actually winning, they wouldn't be saying this. But I don't think they understand the bigger picture. Nothing is showing that they are winning. So why would they say stop the count? I, I just think they don't understand what's actually happening right now. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and roll the video and I will be right back. Well, anyway, there you have it. They are chanting and pointing their fingers and shaking their fists. Stop the count. But what I don't think they understand is uh, continuing the count. What if it went in their favor? So it's like they're, they're not thinking things out. Continuing the count could actually work in their benefit. The same with the mail-in ballots. What would be the reason for uh, Trump to not want to count mail-in ballots? This is because I think he believes that he can't win fairly. What makes him think that the mail-in ballots are all for the Democrats and not for him? And so I'm just going to read a couple of the comments. And these people are giving their explanation on why these people are in here chanting, stop the count. One says, this is when you don't believe you can win legitimately. That's what one commenter said. And so I can't, I kind of agree with that because if you really thought you could win legitimately, you would just let things go out the way that they usually do. You would let things go the way they usually flow. You would roll with the punches and go with the flow, right? But when you don't believe you can win legitimately, you say, well, I'm the president. I'm going to shake my fist and so are my followers and point my finger and tell you to stop the count. Okay, here's another one. Another commenter says, ha ha, but if they were winning, they wouldn't be saying that. Exactly. So a lot of people are sensing the hypocrisy here. They are sensing hypocrisy that because things are not going in their way, uh, they're trying to uh, suppress votes or whatever. But again, how do you know that the additional votes that are counted wouldn't go in his favor? Why would you say that or assume this is because you, you know, they said that there's some type of fraud going on. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, well, what about when the postal service was compromised and mailboxes were taken up and all of that? 
and his base doesn't see that as fraud. But because they are counting what they have in hand legitimately, that's fraud. That that see that's the thing that's happening in this country, and it's amazing to me that, like so many people are saying, they can't believe that this man still has so many followers after everything he's done. All of these supporters, as a matter of fact, new supporters. They said black male supporters was one of the largest rising demographics for this president. Many of them came out for him. And so here's a couple of more. But the one that I thought was kind of funny was uh, the one where they said they look like zombies looking for brains. And then it says, feed us brains, <laughs> you know. So they're marching in there, shaking their fist, pointing their finger. So this person believes that they look like zombies looking for brains. Another person said, send in the National Guard. Send in the National Guard. So you see, right now, number 45 doesn't care about democracy. He just wants to win. So he wants to change the way things are done. Okay, so another person is asking, where's the SWAT team when you need them? In other words, the SWAT team shows up for much less, but for these chanting finger pointers, not so much. Okay, one last comment. This person says, this is literal voter suppression. So a lot of people are seeing this hypocrisy for what it is. They are seeing exactly how a temper tantrum looks when grown-ups don't get their way. When they don't get their way, this is the temper tantrum that they will throw. Another person says, it's a horde of zombies. How embarrassing. And so, um, I'm done with this story. Uh, this is what's going on in Michigan as people are unhappy with what they are seeing in the results. So they believe if we just shut it all down right now, that there is hope for a win. But little do they know, little do they know, more counting could result in more votes for their party. So where is your thinking? Where is it? Alrighty, I'm done with this video. Leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video. And with that, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like and subscribe.